Yo, what is up? What is going on, everybody over on the Doom Clan channel? My name is Zach, or Immortal Resistance, but you guys can call me Doom Immortal. And wow, do we have a gameplay for you guys today. This is insane, and when I say insane, that doesn't even express what I actually think about this gameplay. Today, you guys are watching a triple DNA bomb. Three DNA bombs in one game. That is is absolutely crazy. Now this gameplay is by one of our newer members. His name is Doom Captain, guys. Please, please, please go and check him out. He deserves so much credit for getting this gameplay for you guys. This is amazing. Like I, I literally can't, my words don't express how good this gameplay is. So go and check him out, guys. You guys can find the links to Captain's Twitter, his YouTube, all in the description below. They're all gonna be at the top. You guys will be able to find them right there. Definitely go and subscribe to him. Give him a follow for getting this awesome gameplay. This is, uh, <laughs> safe to say this is probably the best gameplay in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare so far. Now you guys can see he's playing on the map Instinct, some 6v6 domination, and he's using the EM1 laser gun. Now, yes, uh, from what I understand, this gun is a beast on last gen. On Xbox 360 and on PS3, this gun is well, it's a laser gun. I was going to say this gun's a laser, but that would sound stupid, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, this gun is just, it is a monster on last gen. From what I hear, I've tried it a few times. I just suck in general, so you know, I don't get much with it. But uh, Captain pretty much goes to work in this gameplay, dropping three DNA bombs with a laser gun. Absolutely crazy, guys. Please go and check him out. He definitely deserves it, and I'm sure he'll love you a long time if you guys choose to do so. So, with that being said, guys, let's move on into today's commentary topic. So, today, guys, we're going to be going over some more gun breakdown. And today, since this gameplay is using the LMG called the EM-1, or special weapon called the EM-1, whatever you'd like to call it, that means we're going to be dissecting the LMG class type. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into that. So starting us off here, we have the EM-1. And like I said on last gen, this thing is a beast. It is an absolute destroyer on last gen. You know, this thing melts straight through people. And you guys can see Captain just absolutely tearing it up within this gameplay with this gun and uh, it, I like this gun because it's something new like we definitely have not seen a, a laser gun in past Call of Duties and what I really really like about this gun is the recoil fact normally I would never say that about a weapon but the recoil on this gun is really unique uh, from the times that I've used it say you're ADSing with this you're aiming down sights with the EM1 the, uh, the, the recoil is weird sometimes it can go up and to the left sometimes it goes up and to the right and really you just have to be a good player to be able to succeed and to be able to excel with this weapon because it's it's recoil is a little bit unpredictable next up we've got the Pytech or Pytech I have no idea how to pronounce this but this gun is a beast this gun has pretty much no recoil and it straight melts through people now the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of with this gun is obviously uh, your mobility is really decreased when you're using a weapon like this you move much much slower especially in this game where the movement is so key and the movement is so big on what you're doing in the game uh, I, I don't like really using a, such a heavy weapon where you can physically feel it you're moving much much slower but the iron sights on this thing are a little bit obtrusive although it is really cool if you're not ADS then it's actually inserted into the gun and when you uh, when you ADS it flips up and out and it looks really fancy so if you're ever getting bored you know just sit in private match and ADS and then don't ADS and then ADS and then don't ADS with this thing and it'll look really cool uh, but yeah this is a beast weapon it's got no recoil and it straight melts through people next up we've got probably one of the worst weapons in the game and that is the XMG that is the dual LMGs it's a weird, it's a really weird gun setup. We've never seen something like this in the past. We've seen the ability to have dual pistols. We've seen the ability now to have dual SMGs with like the SAC-3, I believe they're called within this game. But the XMGs, dual LMGs, is something really weird. It's pretty much just an absolute tank gun. That's what I would call this. It's the tank gun. You can actually mount yourself into pretty much a, a, a self-made turret, a man-made turret, and sit in one place 
and just absolutely spray and pray and kill for days with these things, which I think is pretty cool. You know, it's unique. Uh, I think these could actually be used really, really efficiently in hardpoint, although I don't know how well you'd be able to do. You have to be a very, very good player. You have to be very strategic. But uh, if you could get to the hard point first, tur it up with these bad boys, turn into that Iron Man, and just absolutely sit there and spray down the hard point, you could get a lot of points and a lot of kills really, really fast. Next up, we've got the EPM-3, which is also a laser gun. This one I really, really like. It is a semi-auto laser gun. You guys have seen a DNA bomb with this gun on the Doom channel in the past. Uh, but this one's also a unique weapon. I'm a big fan of the laser guns within this game. This one's not nearly as hard to control as the EM-1 is. But in my opinion, it's definitely a good weapon. It kills very, very fast. But you do have to have decent accuracy, which is a little bit tougher in this game because of the movement system. But if your accuracy is up there, this thing's got the range, this thing's got the power, and this thing's got the damage to kill enemies very, very quickly. And you can be extremely, extremely efficient with this gun. Next up, and to wrap things up, we've got the Ameli. This is something that we saw in Call of Duty Ghosts, and I know a lot of people used it in Call of Duty Ghosts for spawn trapping or just for hanging out trying to get some unique chem strikes. This is a gun that I really don't see too much of within Advanced Warfare, you know. Maybe once in a while I'll see a random noob sitting in a corner trying to spray down his friend in a riot shield with this gun, but honestly, uh, you don't really see this gun too much, but I'm sure as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare goes more into its lifespan, uh, we'll be seeing more and more DNA bombs, 100 pluses, or other special gameplays like that using these types of guns. Maybe the ML maybe the EPM3, maybe even the XMG. Let me know what you guys think would be the toughest gun to get a DNA bomb with within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Right now, I'd say it's either the crossbow. The crossbow would be pretty tough in my own opinion, or it would be the XMG dual LMG class setup. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. The insane triple DNA bomb, three DNA bombs in one game of domination. If you guys want to know the full class setup and exactly what was going through Captain's head within this gameplay, be sure to go and check out his YouTube channel, guys. You guys can find the link to that as well as his Twitter down at the top of the description below. And while you guys are down there, be sure to check out our Twitter and our Twitch. You guys can find the Doom Clan Live Twitch link as well as we are Doom Clan Twitter link in the description below as well. And if you guys still got some time while you're down there and you guys want to come and check out my channel and Twitter, those links you guys will never guess this, can also be found down in the description. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed the insane triple DNA bomb in the background. Absolutely crazy gameplay, in my own opinion. I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to slap a little like rating if you guys did. And that's all the time I've got left. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next commentary here on the Doom Clan channel. Stay happy, stay positive, and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.